Hey guys, welcome back. If you haven't already heard, the first chapter of a new Naruto manga just came out starring Mirai, who's the daughter of Asuma and Kurenai. If you've watched the Boruto anime, you might have already seen Mirai as a seasoned shinobi, but this chapter actually takes place when Kakashi was the current Hokage and Mirai was still a Genin. Getting into the actual chapter, it starts off with an inner monologue from Mirai where we find out that she wants to prove herself and become a well-respected shinobi, just like her grandfather the third Hokage and her father Asuma. But, in the meantime, Mirai is still a novice ninja, which is why she was given the D-rank mission to capture a cat. She completed this mission successfully, and was celebrating until she realized that she had become carried away by her mission and got lost in the forest without her team. Mirai then started wandering around the forest to report back to her team and she ended up overhearing a mysterious man discussing how Shinobi had become nothing more than relics of the past. Mirai seems to vaguely recognize the man before realizing that she had seen him previously in the bingo book and before she can come up with a plan, the man notices Mirai was watching him and blitzes behind her before she can even react. It's pretty obvious that this man is much stronger than Mirai and could kill her with ease, but after seeing that she's just a Genin on a D-rank mission, he decides to spare her knowing there isn't any harm she can cause. However, when Mirai reveals that she knows that the mysterious man is actually Mezu, an assassin who betrayed the Leaf Village and kills innocent people for money, he decides to kill her because he doesn't want her to inform any of the higher-ups in the village that he's operating in the area. At this point, Mirai can clearly sense Mezu's bloodlust which makes her start to shake in fear and become completely petrified. Then. Mezu walks behind Mirai and reveals that the bingo book was actually wrong because Mezu isn't just one person, it's a group of assassins that operate under one identity. Now completely outnumbered, Mirai goes for a last ditch effort to catch all of them in a genjutsu at once and it works. The entirety of the Mezu group is caught in the fake tree roots and the leader even surrenders. Mirai is aesthetic after defeating the Mezu group because she thinks that the village will finally see her as a real shinobi. But before she can celebrate, they all break out of the Genjutsu and reveal that they were only pretending to be trapped in it. The leader of the Mezu group then counterattacks Mirai and the fight is completely one-sided. The cat she found even tries to protect her at one point and the leader kicks it away with ease. Mirai then throws some shuriken to keep the leader away and it seemed like he was able to deflect them but it turns out that Mirai hid two shuriken under all of the others which was able to catch the leader off guard and cut his face. After this, the leader decides to take Mirai seriously, so he gets her in a chokehold and says that she should give up on the ideals of Shinobi because they are completely useless and outdated. However, even at the brink of death, Mirai still says that he's wrong because people will always need Shinobi no matter how much things change, and the ability to endure until that time comes is what makes a true Shinobi. This speech only made the Mezu gang laugh at Mirai, with the leader going in for the final blow to kill her, but before he could stab her, a shadow coming out of a weirdly shaped kunai completely restricted his movements. It's then revealed that Shikamaru was the person who casted the shadow paralysis, and he ended up finding Mirai because he was already on a mission to track down the Mezu group. The entire gang then jumped Shikamaru at once to try to take him down, but he was capable of easily dodging all of them and made them retreat into the forest. After this, Mirai insists on chasing the Mezu gang to catch them, but Shikamaru tells Mirai to relax and says that they picked the worst direction to run in. We then see the Mezu gang running through the forest to escape with a single man standing in their way, and the leader orders the gang to kill him. Even though the disguised man is completely outnumbered, he starts completely dominating the Mezu gang in a fight and shows a massive power gap between him and the gang by dodging every attack they attempt and taking no more than one hit to knock all of them down. Finally, it gets to the point where the leader is the only one left and he rushes at the disguised man and when they clash, the hat of the disguised man falls off which reveals Kakashi Hatake, the 6th Hokage. The leader is shocked to see that he was fighting Kakashi this entire time and passes out right after Kakashi reveals that he just wanted to go on a quote unquote walk because he didn't get much exercise doing paperwork all day. The chapter then cuts back to Shikamaru and Mirai and Mirai is doubting whether or not she's a good shinobi because she wasn't useful against the Mezu gang. But Shikamaru is able to comfort her by saying that no Genin could hold their own against them and the fact that Mirai is able to tell she's not a great shinobi yet proves that she can become one in the future. 
After this, Shikamaru just warns her to take it easy and be a bit less reckless, which she agrees to right before getting found by her sensei and teammates that were out looking for her the entire time. Later that day, Kakashi and Shikamaru are discussing events that just transpired between the Mezu gang and Mirai, and they both end up agreeing that Mirai will be a great shinobi one day in the future. Finally, to end off the chapter, a time skip happened and Kakashi stepped down from the mantle of Hokage to let Naruto carry on the torch and it's revealed that Mirai's mission for the rest of the series will be to protect Kakashi and Gai during their trip to the Land of Steam. So, to give my overall thoughts on this chapter, I honestly really enjoyed it. After seeing nothing but alien Otsutsuki and god level shinobi for the past few years, it was really refreshing to see a main character and villain that feel like they could both be in part one of Naruto without seeming out of place. On top of this, it was really cool to see Kakashi as the sixth Hokage in this chapter because the only time we had ever seen him in action was during the last, which is a very small fraction of the years he spent as Hokage. Finally, my favorite part of this chapter was the student-teacher relationship between Mirai and Shikamaru because Asuma was a mentor to Shikamaru and helped him become a great shinobi, so it was really heartwarming to see Shikamaru fill the same role for his daughter. With all this in mind, I would say that this chapter is a solid 8.5 out of 10 and a really good start to this brand new series. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more Naruto content in the future, I would subscribe and click the video on the end screen. Later!